Here's a cool story. Uh, about two weeks ago, I'm in Las Vegas, and I happened to go to the Monte Carlo and see Lance Burton's show, which was excellent. So I'm hanging around the casino, and eventually I go into a lounge a couple of hours later, and who's sitting there but Lance himself. So I'm debating, and I don't want to bother him, so I, I said, but I'll just go say hi, tell him how much I like the show. So I go up there, and I notice Lance is sitting on this side. Next to him, we have David Copperfield. Then we have David Blaine, Penn, and Teller. So i like, all right, I have to make this short. You know, excuse me, guys, don't want to interrupt. My name's Glenn. I'm a magician from Chicago. And Lance, I just wanted to tell you, I caught your show, and it was great. Uh, and he said, thanks for coming. I'm glad you liked it. He said, would you like an autograph? And I said, sure. So I reach into my pocket, and I pull out a deck of cards. I'm looking for a card for him to sign. He's reaching into his tuxedo. He comes out with a Sharpie. Doesn't matter what you're wearing, jeans or a tux, you've got a Sharpie on you if you're a magician, right? So I reach in and I pull out the Ace of Diamonds. Here it is. And Lance takes the card and he signs it. Best wishes, Lance Burton, Master Magician. And I said, Lance, can I ask you just one quick thing? I've always been kind of curious about the Master Magician designation. What's really the difference between a guy that's a really good magician and a Master Magician? And he said, well, actually a lot of things. He said, for one thing, a master magician will do tricks that a, a really good magician has no idea how you'd actually perform the effect. He said, and he'll do other things presentationally. For example, he'll add in some elements of comedy. And then David Copperfield says, and he'll build in some drama and suspense. And David Blaine says, yeah. Penn goes on to say, and a master magician a lot of times will do all of those things without even saying a word. And tell her, he was just nodding. I said, okay, I think I have it. And uh, Lance says, and you actually have to do this impromptu in front of a group of master magicians where they set the conditions for the trick. He said, you're in Vegas now, why don't you give it a try? And I thought, okay, what do you have in mind? And he said, well, I'm thinking this. Why don't you take the card that I autographed, lose it in the center of the deck, square them up, then ribbon spread the cards, flip over the spread, and while it's in motion, dive in with your other hand and come up with the card that I autographed. He said, and don't forget to build in some element of comedy. And Copperfield says, don't forget the drama and suspense. Blaine says, yeah. Penn says, and do it without saying a word. And tell her, he was still not. So I was thinking to myself, I might be able to do this, but God, I think I might need a little help. So here's what happens. I picked up Lance's card. I lost it somewhere in the center of the pack and I squared it up just like he said. And then I ribbon spread the cards. And then it happened. Yes! It was a miracle. I came up with the card. Lance Burton, Master Magician. There were high fives all around. These guys were great, you know. And I have to tell you, when I went back into my uh, hotel room later that night and I was contemplating the day's events, it dawned on me. Now, the only difference really between Lance Burton and me is he's really good looking and he's got about 500 million more dollars. But other than that, I have to tell you, we both put our pants on one leg at a time. And that's a small consolation if you think about it.